Hi guys, I wanted to show you the best case I have ever seen and it's built by a friend of mine for another friend of mine who's a student uh, in the Americas and here it is. So he wanted the case to match his wife's Hermes Gold handbag and I made some efforts to find a case with a number of features that I'd always uh, imagined or dreamed of in a case, uh, but no, no manufacturer could actually deliver what I was demanding. And a couple of those details are, are here. Firstly, these lovely straps around the end, which don't have too many, um, um, uh, what's the word, um, studs. It's just very, very elegant, and also what you'll see here is a lack of hinges. And the reason for that is, we'll see when we see inside the case, invisible hinges. And the reason for this is, I, I've always dreamed of a leather case where you have invisible hinges, because when you slide it into a car, and there's leather in the car, it's a disaster those sharp edges on the hinges. I always wanted to eliminate them and it's just more comfortable to hold as well. Also the hinges, uh, sorry, the, the catches have what's called uh, big radiuses on them. What does big radiuses mean? Rounded edges basically, so no sharp corners on them and Dave managed to find these catches that are smaller. I'd never seen catches for cases this small with these lovely round edges and radiuses on the edge. So there are no sharp edges, it's smooth to the touch. And they're recessed as well, which makes them almost flush to the surface of the case. They're as, actually as recessed as you can go, but this lovely little feature here to just place your finger ergon ergonomically and flip those open. And I went for four, for ease of use I went for four, so you have two processes, so you open these two and these two, you don't have to do a third process, so I open the centre catch, lovely detail on these, and the stitching is just absolutely marvellous. Before we go inside, this certificate shows that it's Eminence Case, number 0001, and this, this uh, Dave came up with this range called Eminence, which is for the ultra bespoke cases. And some of the other details I'll show you here. Uh, you would also get your, I don't get any commission for this, by the way. I just love the workmanship and the quality and wanted to share it with you. That's E0001, so number one, you get your own Eminence uh, reference number. Uh, serial number on the case and have a look inside. This lovely Alcantara with a specific foam that remembers the shape of your cue. I haven't put a cue in this yet because when his cue goes in the case this foam adapts and remembers the shape of the cue so holds it nicely. These invisible catches, the hinges sorry, they needed to be built actually on slightly wider uh, case uh, carcass, a chassis if you like, than this side. You, you can see that this is slightly wider than this side in order to fit these uh, recessed invisible hinges. You can put your sandpaper inside here or your credit card or your money for your money matches and he supplied lots of these which you can cut down to the various sizes to hold your extensions in place. Lovely little flaps here. Some old English walnut that's 35. That came from, the, these inserts came from a 35 year old block of English walnut. This is American walnut lining the case here. And I don't know if you can see, there's a slight lip here between the surface of the case and the American walnut and the reason for that is it stops any uh, 
water or rain getting into the case. Uh, very innovative way of, let's say, water resisting the case. What else have we got? Ah, oh, this chalk pouch. It, it, actually, Dave made a couple of extras here. One was this lovely little detail of the tip. What's that? A tip stabber, I suppose. And that's very nicely made with the leather. And this chalk pouch, I mean, look how easily this fits in there. No chalk pouch fits in a, uh, fits in a case like this. And this is, this is the best chalk pouch I've seen. You can put the chalk in very soft, very soft um, edges here. There are no nasty uh, stitching and loose leather that sometimes gets uncomfortable. It's soft enough to be flexible. The Alcantara on the, or suede on the inside, sorry, um, adds a bit of friction to stop the chalk falling out. And look how slim that is. So that clip just goes on the belt. Normally those leather pouches have huge uh, loops on, don't they? But that's so elegant and lightweight and it's so comfortable to wear compared to your standard chalk pouch. So great job. Dave, I think he does those separately. Um, you may need to buy a case to get those patches, I don't know. But um, Dave just delivered it today, so I wanted to talk you through it and uh, talk a little bit about the story of how the case came to be. A few ideas that I'd always wanted to see in cases, but never had done. And then on the underside, he's made a very nice feature which is these little stoppers. Often on the, the traditional leather cases, you have uh, studs on the, on the underside of the case. I, I wanted no straps because normally those straps that go around have a stud. And when you put that on the cushion of the table, that's just going to mark the cushion of the table. Uh, but they're just so beautifully stitched. It's just fantastic. And it's so soft, all the leathers are so tactile and soft. I almost want to adopt it and take it with me everywhere I go. But uh, I'm not going to do that, I'll have to order one in order to do that. A couple of things I also wanted to point out were the lovely stitching on this loop that Dave made with his branded towel. And it's just such a lovely detail and also look how zoom in on what I mentioned earlier which was just the beautiful tactility and quality of this stitching and this feature here just really nice to behold and to touch as well very tactile and uh, more importantly I was informed by my camera operator uh, my better half that it's not Hermes it's Hermes or otherwise known as Ermi's mate. Uh, but um, I apologise for the error, and I don't know if that's a sign that I need to buy one of these handbags. But that was the inspiration, just going back to the colour of the case, that was the inspiration for my, my student who, whose wife has one of those handbags and just wanted to pick it out. But also these colours, this colour palette, suit them, um, picks out his uh, apartment uh, perfectly. And so been to a couple of his properties and they feature this type of colour palette. So he, he's, he gave me free reign on deciding the colour of the case, which was a great privilege. And uh, to have played a part in Eminence case number one is, is uh, quite meaningful, actually. And so we came up with this, with this um, colour scheme and... That just leads me on to how easy Dave is to work with. Uh, I've got a bit of a track record of annoying suppliers by making impossible demands and drilling into the detail a bit too much sometimes. But I really wanted to go all in on this one and he was just completely gaming. He said, right, roll the sleeves up and let's make this happen. He was so easy to work with, even though when I was exploring different things, is this possible, is that possible? Uh, so, if you can dream it, Dave Maddox can create it.